My name is Peter Jovka, I'm from Slovakia and my specialization is Eastern Spirituality and Byzantine Music. Eastern Spirituality. What is the difference between Western and Eastern Spirituality? To explain this difference, some authors use one event from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, when Jesus came visit Mary and Martha. Mary, she sat down near the Jesus' feet to listen his words. Martha was very busy with the preparation of food, coming to Jesus and saying, Tell my sister to help me. Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you worry about many things, but only one is important. Mary has chosen the better share. Some authors use this event from the Gospel to in order express the difference between Western and Eastern spirituality, or Western on Easter churches. Martha represents the Western church, where is the systematic theology, good organization, sensibility for practical life, for charity uh, and uh, social work. Mary represents the uh, Easter churches, where there is the uh, good sensibility for the prayer and the contemplation. This example has many limits because uh, the Western Church has so many mystics and so many saints, also is there sensibility for the prayer, but however capture some reality. The center of the spirituality of the spiritual life in the Eastern Churches is monastic life. The word monk is connected with the word monos, which means one, alone in front of God. Monk was always an example of a religious life and for this reason he was uh, considered as a model of the Christian life. The main uh, characteristic of the monastic life, obviously also of the Christian life, is the prayer. Oral prayer participates in the incarnation of Jesus Christ. This is the reason why we need oral prayer. But oral prayer must enter into the mind to understand what I am talking about. After this, follow prayer of the heart. This prayer has entered in our heart and inspire our affective movements. This type of the prayer completely changed the human person. Another characteristic of the monastic life, obviously also of the Christian life, is spiritual direction, spiritual fatherhood, Abba, Starets. The Oriental tradition understands very well to looking to underline that uh, for good spiritual life we need spiritual direction, in which we can open our heart to practice exagoreosis. There is the difference between the spiritual direction, looking ahead, and the sacrament of reconciliation, looking back. Another characteristic is uh, ascetic life, uh, fasting, working, vigilance, pentos. So, these are some characteristics of the Eastern spirituality. So, Byzantine music. In uh, order of explain uh, the difference between Western and Byzantine music, I would like to mention two musical instruments, the cello and the keyboard. The cello, it can play different intervals, even smaller than a semitone, like this. use a tempered scale. A keyboard I cannot play the interval smaller than a semitone. This is the minimum. But I can play harmony. One, two, three, three tones together. The cello and the keyboard can play together. But intonation of the cello must follow a tempered uh, scale, not the natural intonation. In this case, the cello lost its capacity to play the smallest intervals. The cello represents Byzantine music, 
because Byzantine music is monodic music, one voice. It is connected with the voice of the human person. Melody is very free and can use any intervals, even smaller than a semitone. The melody express the affectivity of a human person. And for this reason, Byzantine music is very rich in this element. In the beginning of the 19th century, the bishop and the musicologist Chrysante of Matito tried to analyze Byzantine music, Byzantine chants, and found 68 degrees of the octave, not 12 uh, semitone of octave, but 68. It means a much higher sensibility of the melody. And this is characteristic of, the, of, of Byzantine music. <laughs> 